Hello children. We continue with the kinds of transpiration. First is stomatal transpiration. What are stomata? They are the minute openings of the guard cells. They are the minute openings of the guard cells present in the epidermis of the leaves. During day, stomata are open for intake of carbon dioxide. And at the same time, water vapor goes out as transpiration. Have a look at the vertical section of a part of a leaf. You see this transparent waxy covering called cuticle. You have upper epidermis, tall cells, palisade mesophyll. These are the spongy mesophyll. Lower epidermis, guard cells and this part is the opening of the guard cells called stomata. You will draw this figure in your notebook. Look at the shape of the guard cells. Bean shaped. Opening stomata. The outer wall is thin and the inner wall you see is thick. There is presence of nucleus. These small dots shown are chloroplasts and surrounded by epidermal cells. Do this diagram neatly. Now, how does the water vapor go out? Water, after being absorbed by the roots, rises up through the stem, reaches the leaves through the veins. Can you see here? These are the xylem vessels. From here, it goes to the mesophyll cells. Then intercellular space, then the substomatal space and it goes out through stomata by the process of diffusion. The entire movement of water vapor from the surface of the cell to the outside atmosphere occurs by diffusion. Is it clear till here children? Now there is another very important experiment. More transpiration occurs from the under surface of a dicot leaf. Why? Because there are more stomata on the under surface or the lower surface of a dicot leaf. Look at the experiment in the given figure. Note, this leaf is attached to its own plant. You see, a part of this dicot leaf, upper part and the lower part is covered with blue cobalt chloride paper. Attached in position by two glass slides or held by clips. You know cobalt chloride paper is an indicator of moisture. When it is dry, it is blue. What will happen after some time? The paper on the upper surface of the leaf remains blue or will turn pink after a long time. 
whereas the paper on the lower surface of the leaf will turn pink faster why because more transpiration occurs from the lower surface of a dicot leaf due to numerous stomata present on the lower surface this is a very important experiment now i come to cuticular transpiration what is cuticle the waxy layer secreted by the epidermis on the two surfaces of the leaves the thickness of the cuticle depends upon plants basically cuticle serves to prevent evaporation of water from leaf surfaces it is waxy in nature desert plants have thicker cuticles to minimize transpiration next lenticular transpiration what are lenticels special openings present on the bark of old and woody stems they allow diffusion of gases for respiration photosynthesis a very important point to note here lenticels never close they remain open all the time i want to remind you here stomata open during the day close at night lenticels are open all the time now maximum transpiration occurs from stomata and the amount of transpiration from lenticles is more than that from cuticles cuticular transpiration is less i stop here children you read this chapter underline go through it thoroughly well do the progress check questions children wherever we come across i every time don't have to remind you that you are supposed to do the progress check questions also thank you children take care